to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat You keep the medals cause the red one's coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes, right? Now definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. Daily double uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, right? Now, let's get you in this video. So today, what we're going to be doing, once again, we are on next gen, or some people like to call next gen current gen, and then call current gen last gen. It doesn't really matter, but regardless, we are on the PS5, right? <laughs> and today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about the two-way score machine. It's a really good build in the reference, and, and I guess in the grand scheme of like, it's going to allow you to be able to do a little bit of everything. And um, again, these are the type of builds you can make on next gen or current gen that you can't make on last gen or current gen right <laughs> but anyway man so i'm going shooting guard i'm going right handed with this you can go right or left handed um i'm actually gonna go six six with this and go 190 because i was trying to make a kobe bryant michael jordan build you know how i get so um i went six six 190 and then i got my wingspan and i went to seven feet all right seven feet on the wingspan body type um i'm gonna go built yeah let's go built all right and then what we're going to do here is we're going to go 92 on the driving dunk. We're going 82 on the driving layup. We're going 67 on the um, standing for 21 finishing badge points. Then what we want to do is go 83 on the um, mid-range shot. We want to max out to 84 on the three-point shot. We just want to go 26 on the free throw, but I will show you what you can do if you want to get free throw. If you like somebody that likes to play pro am or play in the rec, so I will show you how we can do that. Um, you want to go 70 on the pass accuracy, all right? And then you want to go ahead and max out your ball handle, and you want to max out your speed with ball, all right? And make sure we get this right. All right, hold up. My phone is cutting on. It's sending updates. I don't like that. All right. So, um, no, actually, we'll go 82. I'm sorry, 82. So, 70, 85, 82. Then we want to go 88 on the um, perimeter defense. We want to go ahead and go 86 on the steals. And then we want to max out the block. And then we want to go 71 on the defensive rebound. We want to max out the speed, the acceleration, skip the strength. We want to go 80 on the vert and then 90 on the stamina. All right. Um, I think it am I like looking at something different here? I want to make sure I got this right because I look mine's are looking Yeah. Alright, bam. So instead of 26 is 27. But we were looking at it's 22, 26, 23, 30. Yeah, sometimes I feel like when you change something up and you come back, it's like it's different. But what you can do real quick for my um, nephews and nieces that are trying to get um free throw, you can drop your block to 65. If you drop your block to 65, then you can be able to get a really high free throw at 86. Okay, so you can do that. You'll still be able to get your block right here at 65. We'll still give you that intimidator. You will go from you will go to 19 badges, but again, that's really your preference and what you want. But if you um, want to do that, you can. If you want to go straight um, park, you can go this um, this route. If you want to go be able to play in the park and have some rec free throw, go ahead and drop this down to 65 and then you'll be able to have that, okay? So some of the things that really, excuse me, that really stand out, and again, like I said, I'm really big on just trying to make sure everything's right at the cap. So as you see right here, your rim protector from 76, right, from 74, five, so you see how you get rim protector on silver. I think like rim protector is really good because it helps with blocking shots and reduce the chance of getting dunked on. So I like to have that rim protector on silver. I like to have, you know, chase down, and then of course you get the main ones like clamps and pickpocket and pick dodger and that type of deal um and then up here as we all know 70 is right there for that bullet passer at um silver and basically if you go any higher you have to go all the way up to 85 to get bullet passer on gold but most of the stuff that you see here is actually good enough 
I mean, obviously, as a two-way scoring machine, if you are somebody that likes to dribble, you do have the gold badges that are most important. So that's why you're good right here. I mean, to get Hall of Fame stuff, you basically need to go ahead and make yourself more of like a play shot or something like that. Or you have to go less on your defense or whatever it is. But two-way score machine is going to be really, really good. I would say really, really good at every single category. But they're not going to have the greatest amount of um, game-breaking attributes, right? So we all know like having 99 perimeter defense, I mean 97 if I'm not mistaken, will give you, 94 will give you the... Um, Hall of Fame, and then of course you go 86 steal. You gotta have a 96 steal to get Hall of Fame pickpocket, as you see at the bottom right there in steals. So I mean, like, there's not gonna get to, like the Hall of Fame badges that you're looking at, but the gold badges will be enough. Same thing here on your mid-range shot. You know, like right here, all you have to do is just get your three ball to. I mean, I'm sorry, where's it at? The 87. Where we at here? 84. So right here, circus threes. If you can get your three-point shot to an 84, um, a 91, you have to go there right like there's certain things on cap breakers that to me personally like if you're good enough with these gold badges i'm um, shooting is already easy enough to be honest with you 26 is a lot but in order to get the name you have to go there i don't think 20 you need 26 shooting badges on this game and then on the finishing side you do get again you're not gonna be able to get post fires you have to have a 99 driving dunk for that and the same thing for fearless finisher you have to have an 89 driving layup but we want to get the 92 driving dunk so we can be able to get the elite contact dunk animations so that's the reason why i went this direction but as usual you know you can always make these builds based upon your likeness i just try to show you what you can do from here and of course you can tweak it and make it any way you want to so it's not the end of the world um here what i did is i would go clamps first i know this is like for me because that's like, a two-way you want to have your clamps first and then the secondary is really your preference you can either go with the finishing moves i like the finishing moves because it helps absorb and finish through contact legs and dunks it just allows you to be able to get some really good contact dunks um of course we also know about the ankle breaking shots if you're more of a dribbler and then you do have the spot up in limitless so limitless will probably be the best if you're the primary ball handler and if you're not the primary ball handler then spot up will be good but in my in my thing if i look at a two-way you're probably going to be more so an individual that's going to be trying to play defense and then have opportunities to score so i would probably go with the finishing moves like this and then here you have it my nephews and nieces we have the two-way scoring machine okay so um and again i went shooting guard you know because like i said i was trying to go kobe we can test the build out real quick and just kind of go over some highlights of some badges that i think that you know you could really want to work with when it comes here the first important one you want to get fearless finisher maxed out and you want to get your poster riser maxed out all right, these are going to be the most important ones and then of course slithery finishers another good one but i do recommend going gold you're not able to go really hall of fame because you're going to lose a lot of these badge points that you have you only have 10 left over you also want to get acrobat and then i also think that you should get limitless finisher and then of course fast twitch is another good badge that i like but you can get away with that with bronze and the same thing for here um rise up on bronze and then i always like to get unstrippable just to put that on bronze also but you can most of the time you can get away with it but if you see yourself getting stripped a lot then you can go with um here with bronze okay and then of course the shooting the ones i just want to quickly highlight um as of right now limitless is not um fixed yet so we're not going to use limitless so i know a lot of people look at my videos and they're like well how come you didn't do this well do you also gotta look at the day i posted it so like if i post something then updates came out later on you can't be in a comment section like bro he don't even have limitless spot up on his build da, 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 da. i'm like yeah because i made this build when limitless wasn't working all right so um but what I would do is obviously Hot Zone Hunter is a very important one. And then we also know Sniper is the most OP badge right now. So you always want to get that Hall of Fame. And again, it based upon if you're a primary ball handler or not. But we also know that we want to get blinders. Now, um, Stop and Pop and Rhythm Shooter are badges based upon your style. I'm a Stop and Pop guy, so I like to go Stop and Pop. And then, of course, everything else is based upon what you want. So if you have some badges left over, you could go with Green Machine here and then try to sprinkle stuff around. Maybe you want to go Dead Eye, but you have many options here. On the same thing right here, um, I would always go like, in this instance, I would go Hyperdrive, Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm on Gold. I would actually go Quick Chain, Bronze. If there is a, like, if you watch 2K Labs, Quick Chain is, there's a huge jump from no um, badge to Quick Chain. And then it's a slight increase between these and then hall of fame but if you don't have hall of fame to me i would just be go with this bronze quick quick um quick chain and then i will go bullet passer of course you want to have that on silver you also want to have bell out that's another good one if you're a dribbler obviously you want to have handles for days um quick first step is another one you want to have um glue hands i will always recommend at least trying to go on silver and then you have three left over that can be for triple that uh, triple 
threat juke or ankle breaker maybe stop and go or unpluckable like it just really pays upon your preferences i'm not trying to go all through here and then here's the same thing man we know the most important ones if you're on ball defender you always want to have the clamps and intimidator up as high as you possibly can um and i'm looking for the intimidator and i don't see it oh there it is oh to the right so these are the ones clamps intimidator and pick dodger those are the ones you want to have as high as you possibly can i also like to have chase down artist first on bronze and i like room protector on bronze pickpocket is op so this is what i would go with something like that but there you have my nephews and nieces this is just a fill of the two-way score machine um hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did you know what you need to do just make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man and you know when i said back soon to the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out <laughs> If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transform him. And we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breeze like a mighty morpher. Tell my set to get rich and go ahead.